All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a very late coverage of the KO Squad Pro results in the men's 212. Now, I was uh, having a good time uh, with some family today. They, they flew in here, so uh, a little bit of a, a delayed coverage, but I did want to give you guys the uh, the top five as they finished up here. Uh, it, it will do some more in-depth analysis tomorrow. I have some time off tomorrow. But we have um, Ahmed uh, Elwardne. It looks like he came in second uh, to include this uh, uh, Mo Mbabi one. Uh, and then also uh, our guy that um, won last year's, or at least uh, one of the pro shows, the uh, Europe of Spain or, or the, uh, the um, Portugal, right? The Portugal. Um, D'Angelo Pasquale. Now, I was really surprised, and we're going to have to do some real in-depth dives into the, the, the results here, because I was completely shocked uh, with the with the top five here. Um, four out of the five guys were the Egyptian guys that I couldn't even find on Instagram or their pro cards or anything like that. So, you know, really shocked. Um, I don't want to say too much because I don't really want to uh, ruffle any feather, feathers. Uh, so I'll have to look at the uh, the, the footage tomorrow and the, the points and where people landed, but uh, I'm absolutely flabbergasted uh, that Vladimir didn't place in this top six. Uh, Steve Benton, really shocked he's not even in this top six. Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. Um, but I obviously haven't seen his physique, so I'll have to look into it more. Uh, I thought this Chris Pistolas guy was going to really do, um, he was going to surprise some people. And, and then Samir Trudy, uh, you know, he, maybe he came in soft again, you know, who knows, but uh, just absolutely shocked with uh, with the finals here, with the results. Uh, D'Angelo Pasquale, you know, rounding out that bottom of the um, of this top six, maybe even fourth, it looks like, maybe fourth place. So uh, really, really going to have to dig into this show tomorrow, guys. Um, but let me know what you guys have thought about this show. Uh, what about the plague scenes? We'll talk about the open in just a second here, but, uh, you know, really, really interesting results. Um, especially, you know, you got all these guys, the, some of these guys look like newcomers, maybe even pro debuts and knocking off some serious season competitors, uh, Olympia level physiques, uh, really, really impressed. The uh, fifth place goes to this brand new pro, uh, Wally Maki. Uh, so it's just, I don't know, guys, it just seems very interesting. Um, I kind of was joking about it coming into this show, like, uh, if there was going to be any kind of politics playing in this show, it's going to be this one. Uh, and, you know, I don't want to speak too early, but uh, definitely, uh, definitely look forward to seeing a lot of content coming out tomorrow uh, about this 212. Stay tuned for uh, the open coverage and my kind of quick breakdown as uh, we have trick or treaters at the house right now. So I'm going to go back downstairs in a little bit, uh, finish out the day with my family, and then they fly out. Uh, out of uh, Oakland airport tomorrow. So um, yeah, guys look forward to that open coverage. I'll have a little bit more information on the open as uh, I know a little bit more of those names, but goodness, absolutely shocked uh, with the placings. Let me know if you guys actually watched the live stream. I believe it was on Facebook for free. Um, so hopefully you guys were able to watch it, but I was not going to wake up at, you know, three, 4 AM my time to watch this in, in coverage. I just think that's ridiculous. So, uh, Look forward to that open video. Enjoy the rest of the footage, guys. I'll talk to you in my open coverage video coming out next.